you for a long time, so I know you've been involved with a lot of different things. Um, but at the center of many of the things that you've been involved with is, is combating mass incarceration, criminalization, and oftentimes when we talk about that, we don't see that as being part of the larger scope of environment, what that does and what that doesn't do to our communities. And so maybe you can kind of give us a, 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 an overview of how you're seeing that, how you're combating it with the organizations you've been involved with, and you know, and, and, and what's the greatest challenge that people can jump in and, and, and assist you with? Yeah. Um, you know, the built environment where we live, so much, you know, actually, the number one determiner of um, our life expectancy is our zip code. It's not whether or not you have health care, it's not how much your parents make, it's not whether or not they went to college or you go to college, it's the zip code you were born into. So we know right there from the gate that determines so much of our lives. And that's, that's a lottery that, I didn't even sign up for that lottery. It's like the, I didn't decide what uterus I was gonna be inserted into or which one I was gonna come out of. It just happened, right? And so, but that determines my life expectancy. That shouldn't be the case. That is social injustice right there. I can work as hard as I want to, apply myself, and I still have limited life expectancy based on the zip code I was born into. We have to change it. When you talked about, um, we're told to vote for all these different people. Man, I'm from Oakland. We didn't have a brown, queer, Asian city council forever. And they still fucking us over. Because it's not about whether or not you put a D in front, behind their name, Democrat or Republican. All of them cats is. But all of them cats are believe in a neoliberalist economic agenda. Write it down on your phone. A neoliberalist economic agenda. Yeah. That says the market will set it right. Just believe in the market and markets will fix it all. A market can't fix nothing. It's a simple tool. That's like saying a hammer gonna fix it all. Damn it, we need a saw. So we need alternative economic agenda. When I, when I, I'm from East Oakland. When I came to West Oakland, we didn't have a damn grocery store. And when I started trying to figure out, I went to work for a city council person trying to figure out how we was gonna get a grocery store. And I went and met with the heads of all the regional VPs of all the major grocery stores, Safeway, Albertson, you name them. I said, hey, will you bring a, a grocery store to West Oakland? And they said, how much tax subsidies will we get? Okay, four years. Okay, we'll stay for five. Wait a minute, why is that? Well, we, are we have to meet or beat Wall Street expectations or we can't stay there. Wait, you sell food. People in West Oakland need food. You can come there, they will buy your food. Yeah, but it won't meet or beat Wall Street's expectations, so my money does better in the bank. So what I hit on was, you know what we need? We need a worker on co-op, like they got over there in a mission. Yeah. We need something where people say, my money won't meet, no, my money gonna stay in the hood. And the people, that, the brown people, immigrants, queer folks, women, in the Oakland City Council said, you want a workers to own a grocery store? That's crazy. That'll never work. There is one right now across the street from the BART station that those folks got together and built the damn hell that has been there and it's going to be there because this is where they're from and they babies going to eat. So this is not just about politics, this is also about economics. In the, in the red and the blue states, you know what banks they use? The same damn banks. I'm not falling for that no more. This is about economics. The reason they're burning up the planet because they're going to, they're making gold up burning up the planet. The reason they're digging up fossil fuels, because it makes some money. The reason we have a super highway that runs through the middle of West Oakland is because it makes them money. Well, what makes us money? Where's our value? How do we build our own economy? So I think that is the thing we have to start focusing in on. What are we building and owning together? What are, can we do collectively? That's the opportunity and that's the moment. Can you give um, some steps that can be taken by people that want to do exactly what you're advocating, you know, build and work together? Is it a bunch of meetings? Are there specific things that people need to do? What are some pitfalls that you've seen happen in the past that you can share so that they can be avoided in the future? Because we all want to work together, but we, we might not know how to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you like this. Um, one, go to Mandela grocery store, buy some, first step. After you buy some, then say, hey, tell me about how y'all run this grocery store. Tell me how y'all start this grocery store. 
They have a, a, a nonprofit they work with that helps start the community-owned grocery stores. Then I want you to go over to the one on, um, on Lakeshore, because I love Emeryville, but I love Oakland better. So go to the one on Lakeshore, walk into Aris Mindy's, buy yourself a pizza or a loaf of bread or me a chocolate cupcake, um, and then buy something first, though. And then say, hey, tell me about how y'all run this business. This is a worker on co-op. Tell me about this, right? But then I want you to go up to Wall Street, and I want you to go talk to the major hedge funds on Wall Street. Don't buy nothing, because they don't need none of your damn money. But I want you to ask them, how y'all run this thing together as a worker-owned co-op, but yet won't invest in ours? Tell me about that one. <laughs> then I want you to go across the street, and I want you to ask the law firms that are worker-owned co-ops, how is it that y'all run this thing as a co-op, but then when we say we want to, it's too complicated. Explain that to me. This is not a new idea, people. It's an old idea, but this is what it is. We get capitalism for the poor and the working class and socialism for the rich. They socialize their money, they do stuff together. But us, we gotta, it's the fittest or the strongest or the fittest. Who's the strongest, who's the toughest, who's the smartest? Don't fall for that shit. It's right there all around you. Then go over across the bay and talk to the people at Rainbow Grocery who've been there for like 40 years running a worker-owned grocery store. It is, so the, 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 the fallacy and the, the, the thing that we fall into is that it's hard or it's novel or that it's like Ocean Spray Cranberry is not a worker owned, co a farmer owned co op. That Orchard Supply Hardware is not a farmer owned co op. That REI is not a co op. That you can be a part owner in everything you do if you choose to. So, what are we choosing to do with our money? Because we know what they're choosing to do with theirs enslave us and limit our rights in every way imaginable. But what if we did the opposite? What if we really put our money where our mouth was? And then the last thing, uh, you were talk we were talking about criminalization. What policies are you working on or what organizations can people be a part of to de-escalate this criminalization? And we gotta ask this knowing that now we have an attorney general that has reversed whatever gains have been made in, in terms of uh, mandatory minimums, that he wants to accelerate the so-called war on drugs. And we're in California, so a lot of times we don't get to see that once you leave this state and you go to places like Texas and other things, people are paying for their incarceration, they're, they're, they're going to jail for just having a roach, yeah. you know, in their car. I mean, all these types of things are very draconian, and now they want to amplify that up. So um, what, what sort of, things are you all working on to to push back on that reality? Yeah, well, number one, you know, Ella Baker Center for Human Rights is my home for 13 years. Um, get, go on, pull out your phone, put it in, ellabakercenter.org, click subscribe, know about it, because they're campaigning in Alameda County, all over the state of California. An organization led and for formerly incarcerated folks called All of Us or None, get down with them, they're really doing it. Uh, Pico, California has been running many campaigns at the state level, get down with them. American Friends Service Committee also. There's many organizations right now that are doing this work. And I would say to those folks, donate to them. Give money to those folks. Because they're putting, they're organizing, former incarcerated folks are organizing incarcerated folks, building power for those folks to transform their lives. Okay, let's give it up for Jakarta. So what I'm gonna do here,